In this video, I am going to explain the Jupiter transit which is going to happen in another 10 days. The objective of this particular video is not to predict the results or the outcome regarding this transit. Rather than that, explaining people why do we need to follow all this and do we really need to follow and uh, which are the signs which are badly impacted so that I can give some confidence for them. Okay, coming back to the transit. Jupiter normally transits from one zodiac sign to the next every year. So he stays in a particular Rasi or a zodiac sign for one year and then he moves on to the next one. Currently he is in Capricorn and he is moving to Aquarius on 15th of December 2009 at around 11.35 p.m. Indian time. What does this signifies? This signifies that due to the movement of this particular planet, people who are born in different particular zodiac signs, somehow are rather affected by the rays of Jupiter, like how sun's rays are affecting people, either in good or in bad way, same way every planet's rays do affect some and do help some. And the, the important zodiac sign which will be very badly affected as per the astrology is Taurus. Why I am telling Taurus is Taurus in Tamil Rishabharasi and Capricorn is Magaram and Aquarius is Kumbha. So for Taurus Rasi people, uh, that means Rishabha Rasi people, Jupiter will be placed in the 10th place from their Rasi. There is a proverb, not a proverb, it's a written statement in the astrology, Hindu astrology which says in Tamil it is called Patil Guru Pavisu Kedupan. Patu means 10th place, Guru means Jupiter, Pavisu means popularity, fame, name, Kedupa means destroy. For people who are born in Taurus as the Rasi, Jupiter will be in the 10th place and he will create problems to your name, good name, what you have earned so far, either in the workplace or in society or even in your house, either because of opposite sex people or because of um, falsely accused for theft. He may take you to the police station, he may take you to the court. All these will happen when Jupiter is in the 10th place from Arasi and after this transit only Taurus will be impacted. I am not going to talk about other zodiac signs at this point. For Taurus people, I am just giving you a caution. All this is telling you that a stone is going to fall on your head and if you consult your trustworthy Jyotish Pandit or an astrologer and see what sort of remedy you can do. By doing these remedies still the stone is going to fall but the size of the stone may differ rather than a big stone falling on you it may change as a small stone. That's all I wanted to tell in this particular video. All this Jyotish horoscope 
astrology, numerology, everything is meant for a peaceful life and not to scare people. But if you don't trust on all these things, you don't have to worry about because you will be well prepared to face the consequence of this particular transit. So please guys, please do take care and pass on your valuable comments. Thanks.